What is up guys, Alex here and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial and today's topic is going to be on render settings. So I'm assuming most of you guys don't have the top of the line computer hardware where you can uh, do hardcore gaming and render multiple videos at once. So this video is mostly going to be about how to get really good rendering times but still retain optimal video quality. So just to recap on my last tutorial, I'm going to be briefly explaining what these three rendering buttons do. So the first one over here is called the render active view and it will quickly pre-render whatever frame you're on so that you can get a really quick preview of what it will look like after you export it. And then it will slowly render out each area of the frame. Now the second button is the render in picture viewer and this is basically the exporting button so after you're all done with your animations and stuff and you got all your render settings finished you want to go ahead and click this button to finish off exporting your video. Now what's really cool about this option is that if you go ahead and click and hold on it a list of options to come up you select render region and you should get this little plus icon and you can draw a rectangle and it will render out your frame but it will only render out the area that you've drawn so this is really useful if you want a really quick render you just want to see one spot of your frame instead of just rendering out the whole entire uh, frame and last but not least you have the render settings this is this little icon right here so let's go ahead and click on it and you get a separate window called render settings so let's start with the output now the output is what output resolution frame rates and the aspect ratio of the video is going to be so if you click this you have a list of presets that give you a list of already presetted resolution uh, but I'm assuming that most of you guys would want to upload your animations to YouTube so if you're going to upload to YouTube I would recommend that you choose one of these two presets HTV slash HTV 720 29.97 or HTV HTV TV 720 25 frames per second. Now for the resolution DPI and or the pixel slash centimeters, uh, you don't need to worry about that. You can set it all the way if you have a really fast computer if you want. But for now, just set it at 72. And for the film aspect ratio, since you're uploading to YouTube, you want to keep it at 16 by 9. That's the widescreen ratio for video. And then for the frame rates. Now for frames, since Cinema 4D individually renders out each frame, uh, rendering out all the frames in a couple of seconds could take a long time depending on what settings you have. So the least amount of frames per second you render at would give you the fastest rendering time. Now you don't want to set it too low and you don't want to set it too high. So uh, what I usually keep it at is between 24 and 29 frames per second. So let's change it to 24. And if you want to calculate how long your animation is going to be, say if you want it to be, you know, maybe 20 second long, and you want to know how many frames that you're gonna to have to render, all you do is get your calculator, get the amount of frames per second you're rendering at, and multiply it by uh, how many seconds you want the video to be. And then you get 480 frames for 20 seconds of video. Next, the frame range. Now, if you're rendering an animation, you would want to render all the frames. And if you're rendering out a still image, you would want to render out the current frame. So let's set it on to all frames. And from option should be set to zero. That's the beginning of the animation. And two should be, uh, if you're doing a video, it should be higher than, uh, say, since we're doing 24 frames per second, it should be higher than 24. Uh, frames to give you a one second of uh, footage. So by default, it's set to 90 frames per second, but let's say for doing 20 seconds of footage, you want to set it to 480. And since we're doing a video, select all frames. Next, go to save, and this is where you're going to pick your file destination or where you want your file to be rendered in. So let's go ahead and click the little button right here and you might want to save it to your desktop and make the file name, let's set it to Zune HD, save, 
and then you want to go into format now before you actually open up cinema 40 you want to go ahead and download quicktime if you haven't already you can go to apple's website and download the quicktime plugin for free and once you've installed it and everything and open up cinema 40 you want to go ahead and go into format and select quicktime movie now you don't want to select avi movie because avi file format has a horrible horrible compression rate so it will give you a really really big file for only a couple seconds of video so always select it on quicktime movie and again if you're doing an image render and you don't want to render out a video uh, select PNG PSD or even JPEG so after you select quicktime movie go to option and go to compression type and set it to H.264 the common codec for high quality quicktime video renders and make sure frames per second is set to 24 and make sure you keyframe every 24 frames now for the compressor if you have a pretty good hardware system and don't mind uh, waiting a long time to render you want to set it to best but you can make an exception and if you have a slow computer you can bring down the quality it'll uh, bring down the quality of the video of course but you won't notice it too much so it's good to set it at medium for optimal quality or I'm just gonna set it at best hit OK now I'm gonna be talking about the other options that affect the rendering time so if you go to anti-aliasing uh, anti-aliasing is basically a calculator kind of and uh, let's say if you have a render and then you're rendering out your image and you notice some edges of your object are kind of jagged I don't know if you can see this but in the reflection uh, part of the floor is jagged along the reflection of the screen let's say you want to fix that so what you want to do is go into anti-aliasing and by default it's set to geometry when you go ahead and set it to best and when you set it to best it'll calculate all the jagged edges and pixels and it'll try it and smooth it out as much as possible but the only drawback of this option is that it'll drastically increase your render time so usually I don't really care about if I have jagged edges or not but usually I just turn anti-aliasing off so after you're done with all the render settings go ahead and exit out of the window and hit the render in picture viewer and another window should pop up and finally it's going to export the video and all the frames and there you go that's the end of this tutorial um, I hope you guys could follow my instructions and whole walkthrough easily but if you have any problems with any step of this tutorial you can ask me a question in the comments down below and I'll uh, reply to all of them as much as I can I hope you guys like this tutorial again if you want to help me out comment on this video and give it a like and watch my videos weekly I'll have a lot more stuff uh, for beginners in Cinema 40 and I will see you guys next time